And we went to one in Birmingham, and there were, there were only six, seven of us, because it was very late notice, and we stayed overnight in a cheap hotel, and we practiced a song and a speech that we were going to do at, at the very first opening key speaker, Matthew Swindles from NHS England. Ooh. Great, yeah, boo. Ooh. Can I have an NHS England boo, please? Ooh. Yes, you see, yeah, this is about to season after all. Right, um, NHS England's Matthew Swindles, a man who just loves all the corporations, and he swindles over there. Um, so he was the keynote speaker. So we had it planned. We were, and I had my little briefcase. And I put on it. I scrubbed up quite well. We had a suit and tie and briefcase. Now I was called, I'm not going to tell you what I was called because I use it still. I had a pseudonym. And, it's, and it was like Mission Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Because you had to go up the escalators to the ticket office. And it, was, it was like, oh yeah, okay. And we weren't allowed to speak to each other. We decided we were going to go individually, mingle, sit in the auditorium, and not be a group. And of course, that means the funny thing was we had to we had to walk past a couple of hundred NHS campaigners all going scum, <laughs> scum. <laughs> they didn't reckon with that anyway, but it, that was quite amusing. Um, anyway, we're getting. We're getting all the first thing you see, a bloody Renault Clio for, on a raffle. Yeah, if you're an NHS provider and you tick so many boxes, you get a little voucher, put yourself in for a bloody Renault Clio. Or if you went to some other stands and got a tick, you got an iPad with an iWatch with a health bit, something or other probably. It was just awful. Anyway, we sit down in the, in the auditorium and I sat there next to a very nice young woman from Exeter uh, in HR. And I said, she said, oh, what do you do? And I, I said, oh, well, I hadn't thought that. This is how stupid I hadn't thought that through. <laughs> and I sort of made up, oh, I'm in, uh, in MRI, you know, scanner uh, providing. Oh, yeah, it made, made sense to her. Um, anyway, we got chatting, and then up stands the, 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 the compare of the day, and he introduced Matthew Swindles. And we'd agreed that when Matthew Swindles said, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, that's when we would do our bit. Anyway, oh dear. I laugh because it was a wonderful moment. So, Matthew Swindles, ladies and gentlemen, can we all, actually, you can all be the audience. Imagine that you're, you are going to be one of us. When I say Matthew Swindles, you've all got to stand up and start saying, the NHS should be public. Ready? Here we go. Have a little rehearsal. So, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Swindles. Yeah. Hey, you're good, you should have come with me. Yeah, <laughs> sit yourselves down. What was hilarious was, ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Swindles. So we <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it properly here. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Swindles! <laughs> oh, I wish you'd been there. You're terrified. Fantastic. Well, when it came to art, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, don't, don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Matthew Swindles, we all started to stand up. Bugger me if some bloke in the front row stands up going, You're all corporate prostitutes! You're all. And it's like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are the chances? Tur turns out it's Nutty Norman from no Nottingham, a lovely guy. We, we didn't we know each other now. And it's, like, it's like bloody buses, you wait for you know, three coming up. Right? <laughs> So we're sat there going, right, and I, I was the lead kind of speech maker. I'm thinking, right, why don't we do ours then? Because what was fun, watching him being dragged out, still screaming and kicking on security guards. And, so, and of course, the woman next to me is going, oh, these people are going, yeah, I know. <laughs> thinking, you wait till I'm there going in there. So, um, so <laughs> we thought, oh, right. We'll give it a quarter of an hour. So a quarter of an hour we had to listen to this bloody... Should have had one of these. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bullshit from Matthew Swindles. Talking about procurement and empowerment and, um, well, you can imagine all the shite you have to put up with. Anyway, I sort of looked at that right 15 minutes and I stood up and did my bit. And then luckily we were all on, on cue and all six of us did that. We had a little line each about the ethos. Oh, the, pro the core founding principles of the NHS, comprehensive health care for everyone who needs a clinical need, free at the point of delivery. Not free, because that's important. But, uh, and, and then we sang this song. And you can join in. Any, any of the West End musical fans here? Yeah. Yes. 
Right, well, you'll know this one. And if you feel like joining in, do stand up and join in. Um, so we stood up as a little group, and it was great because people were just, you know, a bit like, who the hell are this song? Do you hear the people sing, singing a song of angry men? This is the music of the people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart matches the beating of the drum, there is a life about to start when tomorrow comes. And then we got dragged out by our <laughs> But we had a good time. That was my first experience. Yes.